Hi, welcome to this, uh, this little video on the perimeter of circles and sectors. Let me point out one thing straight away. When you were doing it in school today or last week, your teacher would have been calling the perimeter of a circle the circumference. Okay? We do too. We're just making it easy to write the perimeter up there so that we don't confuse anyone. Okay? So the circumference is what we're actually talking about. Outside of that, the most important thing about dealing with circles is to know the difference between a diameter and a radius. All right, The diameter is the one that goes from one side all the way to the other side through the centre point of the circle, and the radius goes from the centre point down to the outside of the circle. So therefore the diameter, as we write in the big D, is equal to 2 times the radius. Let's look at the formulas that we've got to use here. The circumference of a circle, you've got two options. It's up to you what you use. The circumference of a circle is equal to 2 times the radius, sorry, times pi, 2 times pi times the radius, or pi times d. Now, this little 2 times radius, I reckon you've seen before up here. That is the only difference. We're doing 2 times the radius up here, so that it's the same as that down there. And these two things do the exact same thing. Just depends on what you're given up here on your circle. So let's look at an example. Up here we're given a diameter, it's 20 mil. Let's work, go ahead and work it out. Step one, formula. I'm going to do both of them so that you don't get too confused. Is equal to 2 times pi times the radius, and c is equal to pi d. Okay, now pi is the constant. Use that, the one on your calculator, that is the most accurate form. Step two is to substitute in, okay? Two times pi being our constant, times the radius. The radius for that circle is a 10. Half that 20, get 10, okay? Or we're doing pi times the diameter, which is 20. Nice and simple. Plug it in your calculator. Two times pi times 10 gives me 62.83. Pi times 20 gives me 62.83 millimetres, make sure you put it in, okay? Nice and simple. Let's look at another one. Okay, before you freak out, nothing's really changed, it's still a circle. Okay, this time it's actually a semicircle or half a circle, not too hard to find out. Or another way of looking at it, and this is us easing into it, is it's a sector. Now what is a sector? Okay, I just heard you shout that. What is a sector? A sector is a part, it's a piece, it's a fraction. Alright, so if I was to have a piece of pizza or a part of the circle and the angle on the inside was let's say 40 degrees, we can work out what fraction we're looking at. It is 40 degrees which is what we have over the total amount of the circle. The total amount of the circle is 360. Now we just need to work out what fraction that is of the total. Now the word of means multiply. And then we go and put in our circumference formula and we're pretty much right to go. So sectors simply mean that we are now just working with a fraction of the total. So when we come up to do our formula for this one, what we're looking for is what do we have over 360? What is our fraction times by the circumference of the circle? Now I'm just going to point something out. When I look at this and I do the circumference of the circle, I am finding out this bit here. Okay, That's what I am finding out. What I need to do to complete my formula is to add on that little 10 then, or to add on, and I'll put it in brackets, the diameter of the circle. So the fraction that we have of the circle times by the circumference plus the diameter will get us there. Okay, you just need to work through it. So what fraction is a semicircle? A semicircle is half, so that's 180 over 360 as we substitute in. We then have 2 times pi times the radius, which is a 5, Sorry, plus the diameter, 
which is 10. Okay, now you should be able to plug all that into your calculator without any issue, and you should be able to come up with the answer of the perimeter being, the perimeter is equal to 25.71 millimetres. Okay, if you are having some issues getting that answer, what it might pay to do is do the fraction bit first, okay, write down an answer, do this bit, write down an answer, and then plus 10. So make it condense down a little bit. Okay, let's have a look at one more, one more. See you next time.